There are also the uh, Ankylosaurus. The Ankylosaur dinosaurs are the tanks of the dinosaur world. They're completely covered in bone. They have bony armor on the back. They have uh, um, clubs of bone on the ends of the tail. They also have bone embedded in their eyelids as well. And so when they were hunkered down on, near the ground, they'd be completely covered in bone. They also have spikes which radiate outward laterally from the sides as well. And I think that would probably serve as a deterrent for uh, dinosaurs trying to tip them over. Because if they ever got tipped over, the bony carapace on the back, the, the, the shield of bone on the back, uh, would be their undoing because it'd be so heavy they couldn't turn themselves over. The largest known ankylosaurus measured up to 20 feet and 5 inches in length and 5 foot 6 inches in height. It weighed approximately 13 thousand pounds. The largest white rhinoceros only weighs around 5,100 pounds. The Ankylosaurus is a vegetarian, meaning that it eats plants and vegetation. The bony plates, or armor, that the Ankylosaurus had protected him from the carnivores or meat-eating dinosaurs. Ankylosaurus has been discovered in the Hell Creek Lance and Scholard Formations. In 1906, an American Museum of Natural History expedition was led by paleontologist Barnum Brown. The collector Peter Kaysen was the one who found the Ankylosaurus in the Hell Creek Formation near Gilbert Creek, Montana. Brown scientifically described this animal in 1908. The name Ankylosaurus derives from the Greek word Ankylos, bent or crooked and all in all means fused lizard, due to the bones being fused together. This animal was one amazing animal to behold.